As a kid, I grew up playing all things Nintendo. I played little to no Sega console games. The only Sega games known to me were the ones at the amusement. I never had any interest in Sega Mega Drive, Genesis, nor the Dreamcast. To me, it was always Nintendo. Let it be Famicom, Super Nintendo, N64, these consoles scream nostalgia to me. So when Intech Gaming announced they were releasing a Genesis version of the Fire Stick for the RK 1UP cabs, it was a convenient excuse to dive into the Sega Genesis world and find out what I've been missing out. And now I've had this Genesis Fire Stick for nearly two months, oh boy, the games on the Genesis translate really well on the arcade form factor, even better than any NES games. I'm having a blast playing some of these games for the very first time and I can understand why there are so many diehard Sega Genesis fanboys out there. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody, it's Toy Kade, and in today's video we'll be looking at Intex Gaming third offering for the RK 1UP Fire Stick range. That converts your existing RK 1UP cabinet into a multi-cade. I did a video on the Switch version and recently the NES version, and this time it is the Sega Genesis version, also known as the Sega Mega Drive. It's quite obvious I'm personally a big fan of these products because it's so affordable. We're talking about 100 to 140 US. In addition, they're so easy to install and really converts your original RK 1UP cabs from a limited 3 or 4 games to a multi cab using your existing collection. Like the NES version, the Genesis version has a clone console inbuilt into the control panel, so there is no need to bring your Sega Genesis Mega Drive. Simply plug in your cards that is collecting dust in your collection, insert and switch it on, and instantly you can play any Sega Genesis games at your fingertips. These will be available on Amazon for 139 US from January 2022 on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below when the item is available. The control panel works on all Sega Mega Drive Genesis games as two controllers. Supports Genesis Mega Drive games from all regions and also support 8-bit Sega Master System game cartridges. As I'm not a Sega collector, I don't have access to any flash cards such as the EverDrive, so I won't be able to verify if these works on these fight sticks. Resolution will be 720p and will come with one year warranty. I need to disclose that Intergaming did send this over for the purpose of this review. I won't be going through a detailed unboxing and installation as you have seen the installation process in my other Intech game videos. But in short, out of the box, you get the same content as the NES version, which includes a two-player control panel and a deck protector with six buttons on either side. On the underside, there's a HDMI out port, ribbon port, and four rubber feet bumpers. There's also instruction manuals and button stickers. It also has the inclusion of the Master System adapter to allow you to play your classic 8-bit cartridges, a PCB board to convert your RK1 up to have a HDMI import, and finally, the original cheap and tacky control panel artwork found in the NES and Switch version as well. Installation is exactly the same as a Switch NES version where you just replace the PCB board on the back of the screen with Intech Gaming's one and connect to the existing power supply. And also connect the HDMI ribbon cable to the control panel. So I won't be putting you through the whole process again because you've seen this in my other videos, but I'll leave a link to those videos so you can watch it if you're really keen to know how to install it. I want to share that you can swap out the control decks if you already have an Intech Gaming PCB board on the back of your monitor. You can just swap out your NES fight stick with the Genesis fight stick or the Genesis fight stick with the Switch fight stick. Whichever way you want. They are all compatible, though this is not recommended by Intech Gaming themselves. I did test it and it works. So essentially the PCB board is just converting a 17 inch screen to a HDMI in. But be warned, test this at your own risk. The Fight Stick also acts as a standalone console if you should do so. So if you don't have an RK 1UP cabinet or you just want to play on a big screen TV, simply plug in the HDMI from the Fight Stick to the TV and use a micro USB cable to power up the unit. If the aspect ratio and resolution looks wrong on the TV, there's a switch on the PCB or on the underside of the control panel to switch between a 4x3 to 16x9 ratio. The power and volume buttons are at the top, and again like the other products, the Genesis version also suffers from the volume being too loud on the low settings. The main panel itself has the usual two speakers on either side, buttons and joysticks are decent quality similar to Sunwire clones, and what has become a trademark feature on all Intech Gaming Fight Sticks are these menu options mini buttons, which represents reset, select and start. One slight quirk I noticed with the Genesis buttons are the top middle buttons on both players have a different sound when pressed. I didn't notice this on the Switch or NES version, but with the Genesis version is the first thing you notice, it has a hollow sound and feel to it, but other than that everything works as intended.
Just like the NES and Switch version, the panel is designed for a Gen 1, Gen 2 cab, but it also fits on a Gen 3, Gen 4. But there's a catch. There's a small gap between the screen and the panel. I also tested the control panel on a big blue and it doesn't fit. Although it does sit on the panel itself, the screw holes don't align. Never owned a Sega cartridge in my life, so for the purpose of this review, I went out and got a couple of Sega Mega Drive cards and a Master System card to demonstrate the original cards do work. In addition, I went to Amazon to get this clone multi-card that has 196 classic all-time greats Genesis games. As with the NES version, there is a lot of concerns with the positioning of the card slot, which is bang in the middle of the control panel. But I can understand why they did this, as the control panel is just a piece of flat MDF with the control and the buttons. There is really no other place possible for the card slot if they want to retain the same control panel as the original arcade one up. I actually quite like having the card visible because it really integrates the console characteristics back in the 80s, 90s, where it was always about cartridges and having that type of appearance along with the card case in fact it's pretty cool not only does it function it also displays your prize collection the genesis and mega drive cards when plugged in does not impede the view of the screen but for the master system card you need to use the included adapter which in turn raises the car but again this does not interfere or impede the view of the screen enough talk about the control panel as this is pretty much identical to the switch and nes version in terms of usability feel and comfort what i really want to share is a gameplay on some of these best classic CEO genesis games i've come to learn and love in the last two months What I've learned over the last two months with this device is Sega games from the Genesis really translate well on an arcade machine more than the NES, as most games are actually arcade ports. Overall, between this and the NES version, this is undoubtedly more enjoyable. This is nothing related to the product, but more to do with the games. NES games works really well on the console played with a TV and controller, but when you're talking about Genesis games, most of these games I've demonstrated were made for the arcade, if not ported from arcade ROM. As a Nintendo fan, the Intake Gaming Genesis Fire Stick has really opened my eyes and allowed me to fill in the gap that I've never experienced as a kid, and that is the Sega Genesis. I must admit, I played the Genesis Fire Stick more than the NES version. Even my kids is coming back for more in favor of the 16-bit graphics and games of the Genesis. In my humble opinion, I think Intake Gaming has done the Sega Genesis justice here. I'm not a hardcore Sega console collector, but as a casual gamer, I found no issues with the audio and video. Pretty much all games I play work really well with the fight stick. The same negatives that I found in NES version applies here also, but all can be forgiven due to the price. Don't get me wrong, this product is not for everyone. As with the NES version, Intake Gaming is clearly targeting Sega and NES collectors who have a collection of cartridges. But I can also see the appeal for non-collectors. Not everyone has a time and day for a PC or Pi mod to the RK1 up, which will require more parts and hands-on DIY. Intake Gaming has simplified this process with these fight sticks. This is as close to plug and play you can get on an RK1 up, which will expand your existing original 3 to 4 games RK1 up cab to a multi cave. The installation itself takes about 15 minutes and in no time you can be playing with your Wi-Fi enabled Nintendo Switch, NES or Genesis cartridges. For about 100 to 140, it's pretty hard to argue the value in these Fire Stick kits. 
Intech Gaming has given RK1 owners option to do more with their cabs, with little effort and minimal cost, and really tries to answer the multi-cade gap. There you have it guys, really hope you found these Intech Gaming reviews informative and useful, as I feel like a broken record repeating myself while doing these Intech Gaming reviews. I really enjoy using these products and can't wait for future versions, which may include Super Nintendo and N64 in 2022, so stay tuned. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're beginning one of these and which Genesis games do you want to play the most on this system. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.